I went to PT school, definitely had a passion for the clinical side of things, and then sort of fell in love with the geriatric population and realized what we could do for them. When I first started in physical therapy school, I was probably like most people. I thought it was outpatient ortho and sports medicine. I was gonna be working on young athletes, right? And getting them back to sport. And when I joined Fox Rehab, I quickly realized the way to make the most gain, the way to change people's lives the most and to be most impactful is with the older adult. We have to eradicate ageism from our own profession. We can't under challenge people. We have an entire quality assurance department. We do global trainings on the evidence to our teams, so it's filtered down through peripheral quality assurance representatives all the way down to the ground clinician. We have a data set of 100,000 cases that, that I've been working on and some papers that we're looking to publish all about our own data and how to best use resources. Because there's a lot of evidence in geriatrics, but specific to this model and how we deliver care, there isn't because it's so innovative. So we're really trying to kind of pave the way in that perspective as well. We're responsible for all of our teaching and training, so orientation, our residency program, all of the areas of quality assurance that goes into the organization, like documentation review, uh, things like that. It's getting the information to the field in a multitude of different ways, so that if somebody misses one thing, they'll pick up another. So we spend a lot of time distilling evidence down into usable pieces of information for our clinicians to act on. We try to be proactive. We try to implement the evidence in its purest form. The key is that we're always aiming for the highest level possible for that person, for their family, and for society because we need to do that for everyone. If you can teach an older adult how to go up and down their own steps and how to get dressed again and how to get out of their house, down their steps, into their car so that they can go to their son's house for Thanksgiving dinner, it seems small, right? Like that doesn't seem impactful. But man, that changes people's lives. It changes their ability to be social. It changes their ability to, to communicate with the environment around them. It made me feel like it was more than a job. It made me feel like I was, I, I was doing something for someone that no one had ever done before. You know, when I think about this organization, how we view the older adult client, it's objective. And it's based on that client, not their age, their clinical presentation. And if we use the evidence and the literature as it suggests we should, it would say that we should be working our older adult at high intensities. And that's, that's what we do, you know, 90 or 70. I am gonna prescribe an exercise program to you that works at high intensity for you. And I'm gonna see how that changes your function. And if it makes you better, I'm gonna keep going, right? And I'm gonna work you to a point where, you know, gains can't be made anymore. And that's, that's my ending point, not some predetermined end point that I kind of have in my mind for you. And it will not be based on your age. We don't treat clients different because of their age, nor should we. We don't see older clients more or less than younger when you control for the other variables. We do see clients a little bit differently based on presentation, ability to improve, chronic conditions, all of those things, which are appropriate, right? You know, there's interesting data out there from the Institute of Medicine, just in general. It says that only 14% of evidence actually makes it to practice, and it takes 17 years to do that. I think we need to get the evidence out in front of people. We need to get clinicians that treat geriatric patients to understand the evidence, and we need to aggressively push it forward because we need to make that change sooner rather than later because we have an impending sort of healthcare crisis in geriatrics, and to be able to manage that, we need to be able to be more proactive and really optimize function. The older adult has a unique opportunity to make dramatic improvements in their function in their daily life. And when you can achieve a goal that is important to a client, it means a lot. The mission and the focus on clinical care, optimizing people's ability, helping them achieve what they once thought impossible, and I think it all boils down to this practice not accepting ageism.